Hello everyone. Welcome to another session on Math Olympiad Geometry. So in this session, we will discuss a very beautiful problem that can be solved using rotation. So this is useful for students preparing for IOQM, INMO, American Math Competition and ISI CMI entrances. You can grab a pen and paper. I will explain how to use how to use rotation to solve geometry problem. This is very beautiful actually. And we will also use a little bit of trigonometry to solve this problem. So that we will learn something there as well. The best way to learn mathematics is by doing mathematics. I say this over and over and over again. Just learning the theory is not enough. Okay, let's talk about this problem. What it says is that we have an equilateral triangle ABC. That's the first given data. ABC is equilateral and there is a point there exists a point P so I've drawn it here the point P such that PA is 5 PB is 4 and PC is 3 that's given now our goal, our goal is to find out perimeter of triangle ABC. So since ABC is an equilateral triangle, that's given, equilateral, therefore it's sufficient to find just one side. If we can find out the length of one side, we will be done. So the key tool that we will be using here is called rotation. I want to say a few things about rotation here. Rotation is, is an isometry. Isometry means it preserves, preserves distances. lengths and in this case even area okay so what is useful about rotation is suppose you want to show that two segments or maybe two triangles are congruent to each other let's say abc and xyz you want to show that they are congruent to each other of course, there are SAS congruency, SSS congruency, ASA congruency, and RHS congruency. Those are normal ways of showing this thing. But another way that's really useful is that if you can rotate one of these triangles, if you can rotate one of these triangles into another one, such so that exactly the first one exactly falls on the second one then of course the two triangles would be congruent so rotation is heavily used to show equivalence of figures it's also used to show angle between certain figures angle between lines for example if you want to show that two lines are perpendicular to each other one way to do it is that you just take the line, rotate it by 90 degree, and if it exactly falls on the other line. Of course, you may have to bring both of both of the lines to origin, but if you do that, then the two lines are at 90 degrees to each other. That's another way. So rotation has variety of applications. If you are into complex numbers and geometry, Rotations are very useful there. 
So let's use rotation to solve this particular problem. It has a very beautiful solution in that way. This video is created at chinta.com. As you know, please consider liking or subscribing the channel. Chinta provides outstanding programs on math, physics, computer science, Olympiads, and ISI and CMI entrances. If you are interested in these things, you can join Chinta for these programs. So let's start the discussion. I'll remind you ABC is an equilateral triangle. P is a point inside such that PA is 5, PB is 4, and PC is 3. We want to find the perimeter of this equilateral triangle. So, first step is to rotate triangle PAC about C, about C counterclockwise, counterclockwise by 60 degree. So you have to be very careful whenever you are using rotation, you have to say what is the center of rotation that is about which point you are rotating and through what degree you are rotating. You have to also say whether you are rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. So what happens is that CA exactly falls on CB, CA exactly falls on CB because of course it's an equilateral triangle so this angle is 60 degree and CA is also equal to CB so they will exactly fit in and we have a situation like so this is the point A here CP goes by 60 degrees to CP prime Let me join P prime B. So the first thing is that you realize that C P prime is also 3. Remember, rotation is an isometry, that means it preserves distances. So C P and C P prime will be exactly the same. So C P equal to C P prime. So this is also 3. If I join PP prime, let's do that. So we notice that this angle is 60 degree because the angle of rotation is 60 degree. Angle PC P prime is 60 degree. So what is this triangle? This is an isosceles triangle with an angle 60 degree. An isosceles triangle with an angle 60 degree, which means it's an equilateral triangle. Right? So therefore, this this length is 3 as well. And this length is 5 because it PA has come to P prime A. That's the rotation. So this is 5. So now we have a 3, 4, 5 triangle. This is 3, this is 4, this is 5. Which means it's a right triangle. It's a right angle triangle. That means this angle right here is 90 degree. Let me draw that in a different color. This is 90 degree. And of course, the angle in red was 60 degree because it's a equilateral triangle PCP prime. So total angle here is 150 degree. Total angle here is 150 degree. Now we have this triangle PBC where PB is 4 PC is 3 and BC we want to find out and this angle is 150 degree. So let me let me draw it here. We have PC 3 
PB4 and this angle is 150 degree and we want to find out BC. Now that's very doable. It's we can directly use the cosine rule from trigonometry, which says that PB square plus PC square minus 2 times PB times PC times cosine of 150 degree is equal to BC square. So you can do the calculation. PB square is 16, PC square is 9, minus 2 times 12 times cosine of 150 degree is BC square. So the problem is almost done. I just want to ask you what is the perimeter? Can you put the value of the perimeter in the comment section? Let me know if you like this problem and other if you can name two other isometries of the Euclidean plane, please let me know about them as well. Two other isometries. Okay. Give it a try and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching this one.